In the first video, we looked at how to call up Vocalizer Pro and just load in some presets and work with it out of the box. Now, I want to look a bit more detail of what's going on behind the scenes here. In each Sonovox Vocalizer Pro instance, there's actually four different file types or preset types that can be loaded in optionally. Now, to begin with, we have these presets here that recall the state of the entire instrument, and those are the preset files that we load in either linearly there or in the browser here by double-clicking on these. And these are saved as .svx files. These are kind of like the master instrument files that load up everything. Now within that, we have several other different types. We have the snapshots over here. And these two rows of pads, they look the same, but they actually do very different things. The top row are snapshots, which recall different states of the instrument. We looked at that briefly in the last video. And it recalls parameters as they're stored here and on the effects page. And we can store up to eight of these snapshots all contained within one of these preset files. So when you load up a preset, it loads up the state of these eight snapshot pads as well. But these individual snapshot pads, and we see the name over here, can be saved and recalled individually. And these are saved as .psp files. We're going to look at how to work with these in a moment. But these are .psp files, so we can save them and create a library of these snapshots independently of calling up the presets, which recall the state of all eight of those. Below this, we have the chord pads over here, and these contain mappings of multiple notes so that when you trigger a pad, you're hitting a chord. And these are saved as .smp files, and they're all sort of unmapped right now. It says default layout pad. We're going to look at mapping them and using those. So that's the third type of file. And the fourth type is MIDI learn files. When we use the MIDI learn function, we can map any of the controls here to various knobs and sliders on our hardware controllers, and those are saved as a separate file, and they can be loaded and recalled as well from here. We can save the MIDI Learn or load the MIDI Learn sort of mappings for the whole instrument. So those are the different file types. Now in this video, what I want to do is look at the snapshots. So we call up a snapshot, and it recalls the state of all the controls. Now for example, I have my vocals routed through here, and I have a chord programmed up on this part. Let me find it over here. There we go. So I'm going to hit play and we'll hear these notes triggering the sounds and the parameters based on what's loaded into this low silk snapshot mode. Double click there. And it calls up a different snapshot with a different effect. So this is when we're in the recall mode. We have two modes here for snapshots, recall and edit. So in recall mode, we just click there and it'll load in the snapshot. And if we want to edit, it's really simple. All we need to do is go to edit mode and basically whichever pad we're on, we can make changes to the parameters and they'll be saved with the snapshot. So for example, let's say here, I'm going to make a change in the effects. So I've saved that snapshot and that's basically all I need to do. We can rename snapshots by double clicking there and just typing in and renaming. Now, it's stored with the snapshot right now, and if we want to save it, you know, as a new one, we can right-click over here, right on it, and we can go Save Snapshot. So I'm going to be presented with my dialog box, and it defaults to the Vocalizer Pro folder within your Applications folder. And I'd suggest keeping all these different types of presets sort of consolidated in this one location, since there are lots of files associated with each instance of Vocalizer Pro. So within this, we see here we have a folder for the snapshots, and these are the factory snapshots that they come with. We have one for the presets, which are the instrument settings here. We have one for the MIDI learns, and one for the chord mappings. So there's preset folders here as well. Here's one that I've saved on my own before. So I'm going to go into the snapshots folder, and let's say I'm going to make a new one in here, and I'm going to call it EK snapshots, just because I want to keep them separate. So I have a new folder there. So in here, I'll call this Let's see, it's a variation on low silk. I'll call it low silk EK, just as a reminder to myself that it's a variation on that one. So I'm going to hit save. And now I've saved that as a preset. So if I want to load that in, I can click there and I can right click and go open snapshot. And I'm in that same location. So let's go to the snapshots folder. There are all the snapshots and they're all are available to be clicked on now because .psp files are what we load into that zone that we've right-clicked on. And I'm going to look for my new folder that I created over here. Probably alphabetical in here. 
There it is, EK snapshots. There's low silk EK. Double click, load that in, and there's my low silk EK snapshots. So let's do a quick little review. There's a lot of different files and presets. I want to make sure it's all clear. The preset here loads the state of the entire instrument, including these eight snapshot pads. But as well, each of these snapshot pads have their own file type that can be recalled and edited. And we right click to manage the saving of them, opening them. We can copy them and then paste it to another pad if you want to do a slight variation. Let's say I like this one. I can go copy snapshot and I can go there and I can go paste snapshot and make, you know, some subtle edits and save that if I want to have a bank of similar snapshots with subtle variations between them. So lots of different ways of using that. So that's a little overview of working with the snapshots. Make sure to go back to recall mode so that your changes don't get, you know, sort of saved with the open snapshot that you're on. So snapshots. See you for more in the next video.